One of the best things that happened to me was the sport of bodybuilding. Because in order for me to compete at the highest level, I had to know everything about training and the way it impacted each body part. Years later, as a personal trainer, those tools became very handy for me because I could teach and show clients how to do each exercise with perfect form and technique. So let's get started. Warning. The content you're about to receive is for the sole purpose of exposing fake trainers, doctors, nutritionists, life coaches, and wellness gurus, in addition to educate them and provide you with accurate information. Here's the bottom line. Micro circuit training is the most powerful way to train for fitness. In this video, we're going to show you how to execute and perform a proper training circuit. For you personal trainers that are out there, this will be really good for you because you'll see how a trainer should engage with their client. And for your clients that are out there, this will be a good video for you to see because we're going to show proper form and technique. That being said, Jonna V, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. What, what we're going to do today, we're going to do three exercises in a circuit. Okay. okay? The first exercise is going to be a squat. Go ahead and do that. How many can you do? Uh, we're going to do about eight to ten. Bars on the trapezius. Come on back. In this case, you can take a stance anywhere between a, a, a shoulder width to wide. She's taking a wider stance. Okay, here we go. Eight to ten times. Maybe twelve. Let's go. Good, good, keep it going. Don't stop at the top, go. Constant, make it continuous, there we go. The reason you keep this thing continuous is because it keeps that muscle under pressure the whole time. That's why we do that, keep going. How many is that, four or five? How many is that, six, two more. Seven, last one, and eight, good, rack that. Okay, the second exercise in this circuit is gonna be a walking lunge. I want you to face that way. Put your hands behind your head, okay. When you take a lunge, what I want you to do is bring your knee up, high as you can, pause for a count of one, and then lunge. Ready? Here we go. Bring it up, thousand one, nope, come back, come back. Knee up, pause, bring your knee up higher, higher, there, now lunge. Do that every single time. Bring your knee up. This is really good for core and balancing, and lunge. Bring your knee up and pause, Give higher. Thousand one, thousand two, lunge. There you go. Now you're getting it all the way down there. Thousand one, thousand two. The bringing that knee up really makes it harder to balance, but that's what we want. There's always a reason for what we're doing here. You're not just going through the motion. There you go. And lunge. That's it. Good. And lunge. There you go. And lunge. One more. And lunge. Okay, the third exercise is going to be a leg extension. Hop in there. All right. There we go. Okay, lean back. You want your knee up against the pad right here. Let's go. Push. Good. One. Go. Two. Go. No. Continuous motion. Three. Continuous motion. Four. There you go. Go. Five. Pick up your pace. Go. Six. Seven. Go. Go. Faster. Go. Eight. Nine. There you go. Ten. Five more. Go. One, go, two, that's it, three, two more, go, four, and five. Go ahead and rest up and go back down there. Right now, what we're going to do now is John and B is going to go ahead and take about a 20-second, 30-second break, and then we're going to start this process all over again. The thing that's really unique about these, um, these circuits, inside these circuits, we can do a lot of things. In this case, we're putting the same body parts together. And what this does, this creates a bigger intensity in how the muscle responds and it it breaks down okay we want to exhaust that muscle as much as we can okay she's ready for round number two here we go here we go continuous motion none of this stopping bullshit at the top let's go lean back here all right go for you trainers you want to be around your client where you can save them if they get in trouble go don't pause at the top four there five go rhythm six there you go seven go eight Go, two more, nine, go, and ten. Racket, let's go. Okay, this time we're going to do a little variation of the lunge. 
you're not going to bring your knee up as high, okay? You're simply going to lunge, but when you lunge, I want you to bounce or do uh, pulses at the bottom, okay? Here we go. There you go. Pulse, pulse. That's it. Just a variation to the same exercise. Anytime you vary the exercise somewhat, you're changing the exercise. So it's the same but different. It's not totally different. The same but different. There you go. That's it. Just a little variation. Good job. One more lunge. Okay, get in that leg extension. Let's go. Yeah, get in there. Well, let, me, let me lighten up for you. You thought you could do more weight, didn't you? Okay, here we go. I want you to do five reps and then pulse at the top. Go. One. Go. Pick up your pace. Go. Three. Good. Four. And hold the five. Hold the fifth in there. Hold it right there. Pulse. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Seven, eight, nine. Four reps. Go. Five more. Full. Full. Go. Don't stop. Go. One, two. Go. Three. Two more. Two more. Four and five. Let's do one more circuit. Go back down there. Really important that when you're training for fitness that you keep your tempo more up speed. You don't want to rest too much. Just enough for your person, your client to get recovered, but you want to keep pushing that tempo. Okay, set number three. Circuit number, round number three and circuit one. Here we go. We're going to let form follow function. She may not be able to do all eight to ten reps. Come on back. She may not be, we'll just see how it goes here. The muscles can't count. They don't know. They just, we're just trying to exhaust them. Go, go. One, push. Come on, this is your last round in this circuit. Go. Three, finish strong. Don't let your mind beat you. Six, I don't even know if it's six. It doesn't matter. Seven, go, go. Eight, two more. Come on. Nine, last one, finish strong right now. And ten, that's good. All right, rack it. All right. Okay, one more time for the lunge. Okay, just a normal lunge now. You're getting tired. Hands behind your back. Go. One, two. There you go. Keep it going. All these lunges were all just a little bit different from one another. Still getting a great effect. She's starting to fatigue right now. Pretty good. And there you go. Okay, last one here. As you can see, a lot of people want to always do more weight, and you really don't have to do that. If you're exhausting the muscle in the right way, you'll actually do less weight when you're, when you're uh, doing a training for fitness. Let's go. Just regular reps. Go. Regular reps. Two. Go. Three. Four, five, six, go. Seven, good. Eight, trainers, here's what you can do. Nine, here, it's gonna add something up. Ten, hold it right there, hold it. Push against me, push against me. I can't feel you push against me. This is another way to fatigue the muscle and down. That's good. All right. What you've just witnessed there is a proper training circuit. We've done three rounds. We have the default number for a circuit is usually three exercises. The circuit could be micro circuit means small. The circuit could be two exercises, it could be four exercises. Generally the default is three and what you saw in that particular circuit was that we did three exercises that hit the body, the same body part. Okay, we're gonna go to uh, circuit number two. Okay, John and me, we're gonna go into our second circuit. Okay, your exercises will include inclined chest press, you're going to do 8 to 10 reps. Go right in, and you're going to sit up, and then go right into a shoulder press okay. without stopping. The whole idea is to do this without stopping. 10 reps, 8 to 10. And then after that, you're going to do 10, 8 to 10 uh, curls. I want you to lean back. Okay, cross your leg. The reason I have you cross your leg is because it narrows the, the base. And when you narrow the base like that, it makes the exercise harder to do. The whole idea behind when you're training for fitness is to... Um, you want to exhaust the muscle. And we do everything that we can by angles that we take, closing your uh, stance down like this to do that. That's the most important objective in when you're training for fitness. Okay, so let's get started. So the, up on your, the dumbbells are gonna be at the outside part of your, uh, your chest right there. And when you finish, finish over your eyes. And again, constant movement. Ready, let's go. 10, one, two, right here, over your eyes. Three, there you go. Four, that's it. Form is good. Five, speed up the tempo a little bit. Six, seven, we're going to go ten the first round. Eight, a couple more. Nine, last one. Ten, keep your legs crossed, sit up, go to the shoulder press. One, there you go. Two, keeping those muscles in play. Three, we want to exhaust them. Four, do ten. Five, that's it. Six, there you go. Good job. Seven, 
eight, couple more. Nine, keep your lace crossed and go down to hammer curls and go. One, that's it. Two, perfect. Three, think about the muscle you're training. Feel what you train. That's five. Let's go, let's go. Six, you're starting to fade on me. Seven, there you go. Eight, couple more. Good job. Nine, last one. Ten, and down. Okay, the second, uh, the other part of this circuit is going to be a one arm row for your back. All right. You can put your hand on the bench to, um, to uh, support you. You could also put your knee if you wanted to. Starting position was, is with your uh, arm nice and straight, and you're going to pull that dumbbell up to your armpit. One, armpit. Two, there you go. Three, get a good stretch at the bottom. Four, think about pulling your back, not your bicep. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, flip that around to the other side. Okay, and there you go. One, to your armpit, please. Two, three, four. That's it. Five, six. Good tempo. It's rhythm. It's like dancing with the weight. Eight. Nine and ten and down. Good. Okay. Go ahead and rest for twenty seconds. Now, what you saw in that in that circuit, again, this the training circuits are really unique because it, you can put different body parts, uh, like what we're doing here. She's working the chest, shoulders, biceps. There's three body parts right there. And then we came over here and did the back with a one arm row. You're training four different body parts in a in a circuit. That's being really efficient. That's exactly the reason why micro circuit training produces the most powerful results. On the uh, round number two of circuit number two. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Cross your legs. Get back. Let's get after this thing right now. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this a little bit different. This time, you're going to start with your uh, palms facing forward. When you finish at the top, turn your palms together. So you're there. One. Go. 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 Two. There you go. This is a variation. Uh, to the same muscle group, so it gives your, your body just something else to adapt to. It's good stuff. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, go. And turn. Twist at the top. Twist. One, go. Two, same thing for the shoulders. Same but different. Your body likes repetitions. It gives it something to adapt to, so we're not totally changing that. Go, go, go. Good. And here we go. Hammer curl. One. There you go. Two. That's it. Three. Four, push, don't fade. Five, do not fade. Six, seven, go. Eight, two more, go, go. Nine, and ten. Okay, on to round three. There you go. Okay, we're going to give a 20-second break. Hold on, uh, John and V. The idea behind the break is just to give her enough time to recover. Otherwise, we want to keep pushing the tempo. The pace is it's up-tempo. Uh, when you're doing something like a, a, if you're a strength training athlete, like a power lifter, there's where you want to take more rest in between. You can take anywhere from two to five minutes. But when you're training for fitness, you got to constantly push the tempo. Half the battle is being able to tolerate that. Round number two. Here we go. And go. One. To your armpit, please. Two. That's not your armpit. Armpit. Four. That's better. Five. Stretch it. Six. Pull from the back. Not the bicep. Eight. Go. Nine. Go. Keep going. Keep going. 11, one more, 12, and down. Good. All right. Flip it over. All right. Pull from the back. The bicep is the weak part of this movement. Okay? You're only as strong as your weak movement, but use your back. There you go. Good. And that's it. Good job. All right. Perfect. Okay? Okay, that was the end of round number two. Come back and get one more, one more round in the circuit. Okay? Now, the thing that's important to understand, when you're training clients, too many people are, they, they think that repetitions uh, is the, the final word on when you should stop a client. And actually, that's not true. If you notice in that last round that we did, she still had two or three more reps left. So I just automatically increased her, uh, her reps. The, the uh, range that you give your client is only a range. You, as a personal trainer, need to... Watch them and make sure they're fatiguing at the right time. If you don't do that, then you're leaving reps on the table, so to speak. Okay, here we go. All right, this is going to be round number three. Okay, now what I want you to do with this is go ahead and start with the dumbbells this way, this way, like that. Now, when you, what you do is as you push up, now you twist them. Okay, one, good, two, there you go, three, four, stay in it, focus, five, six, there you go, seven, go. 
eight, four more, nine, let's go, 10. She still has something left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Even though I said four more, keep going, one more. Now, come on up. Okay, start here, dumbbells this way, and then this way, twist them, go. One, there you go, there, two, there you go. A little variation. All that stuff's really good stuff for the, uh, the muscle. You get, the muscle has to adapt to a lot of things, but still doing at the core the same exercise. One more. I don't even know how many reps she does, but I don't care. I'm just watching her fatigue. Go. One. That's it. Two. Come on. Come on. Finish. Three. Good. Four. Push it. Five. Come on. Six. You can use your body to swing a little bit. Seven. Towards the end. Come on. Eight. Go. Nine. And ten. That's very good. Okay. Last one here. You're almost there, John B. Almost there. Finish strong. Don't let your mind beat you on this and start fading. Too many people fade at the end of the circuit. Go. It takes discipline to stay consistent throughout that whole circuit. There you go. That's it. Go. That's it. I don't even know how many reps she's doing, but I don't care. I'm just watching how she fatigues. Two more. And, and, what? There you go. Okay. One more time, and that'll be it for you. You're almost there. The finish line is almost there, John. Be go. One, two, that's it. Three, four, stay in it. Six, stay in it. Seven, nine, eight, go. Nine, three more. Ten, eleven, and down. Excellent. All right, there you go. What you just saw in both of the circuits that we did were very different. The, the, each circle was different from one another. Again, as a reminder, we can train the same body parts in a circuit. We can train different body parts. It's just a really great way when you do this micro circuit training, it's just a really great way to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. End of story. If you want more information about this, click on that link below and go to my website. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.